Pod, 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 pod. Rugby pod. I would love to see James Hamilton under a spiral bomb. Uh, it's horrific. Just seeing it come down. I'm looking up in the sky, the lights, the rain, and it's just swirling and everything comes down. I would love to have seen Jim Hamilton under a couple of them. Well, so, Andrew, just to tell people what the spiral bomb is, because I'm watching it and I'm just nodding when Austin says it. And so you've got the topen, which is end over end. You've got the spiral, which I can do. So I can do them too. What's the spiral bomb then? Hit us with it. Well, this- the spiral bomb is a, a mix of the two. So you, you're up and under is generally off the, the the base of the ball. So the ball goes up, you kick it upright from the bottom, straight up in the air, and it goes over, end over end. But you, so you go over distance. Would be, so, so, so the technique for that would be is if you're volleying someone in the nuts and you go yeah. in south, straight up, north, that, straight up, boom, yeah, straight up, right? There you go, there you go. Uh, now, obviously, the spiral kick is a lengthier one. So you're trying to tight spiral it but going for length. And so you have a bit of a run up and kick someone in the nuts that way. So it's more like an aeroplane taking off necessarily. That's that more be... like when the Copskins got volleyed in the head in Barcelona by the doorman, got a roundhouse kick. So it's a run up with great technique effectively. Yeah, yeah. And then the spiral bomb is a hybrid between the two. So you're going for bomb height and distance, but with a screw kick spiral element to it. So you basically hold the ball up and you're kicking the fat of the ball as opposed to the end of the ball. So you're kicking the fat of the ball and it spins up in the air. And as it goes up, reaches its apex, the top of the apex. Do you know what that is, James? That's the point where I'd scream your your, your ball. (laughs) Yeah, something like that. As it comes down, it comes down like a bit of a dead duck. So you see as if you've shot a duck in the air and it's flying, and you probably shouldn't talk about harming animals, but um, imagine a flight of a duck. There's there's a few few getting shot. Yeah. Imagine the flight of... uh, a duck that's been flying that's been or a pheasant or something it just goes boom comes down and it changes angle as it comes down because of the spiral and you cannot predict particularly well where the ball is going to land so it's 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 an it's a really tough skill to master which george ford clearly has spent a lot of time doing but it's a hell of a skill and uh, you know you get amazing results from it because you basically getting a knock on or cause absolute chaos in the back three Anytime it goes up in the air and everyone is shouting, your ball, your ball, Jim, where are you? Someone catch it. Oh, no, off the head, off the floor. And you, you, you're effectively, your attacking players, your kick chase, are running onto a ball that could be going anywhere. And as we know, generally, as you know, an up and under goes up and isn't fielded particularly well, you've got the momentum running into that area and generally the you, you get the benefits from it. So, hell of a skill from George Ford. <laughs>